All right, hey guys, remember CCG back in the video. So Pearly got new support in Master Duel and I wanted to go over three new essential combos using the new rank two. And uh, we're gonna get started here using Pearly Sleeping Memory and a card of discard. So we're gonna activate the Sleeping Memory here, discard the Book of Moon, activate the effect of Pearly Lily that lets us search out a Pearly card except for the quick play spell. So we're gonna be adding ourselves with my, friend, my friendly Pearly. Then here, this combo is really gonna work from here in the instance that you're you're able to get the other copy of Sleepy Memory because you do have to choose three and there is a chance that it won't be it. From there, you're gonna have to change up the combo. But in this instance, we're gonna get ourselves the Sleepy Memory. Then we can activate the effect of Lily in order to attach ourselves a Sleepy Memory and then we can activate Sleepy Memory and attach it once again. And here we get ourselves the Pearly Leap, which is what lets us get ourselves the higher rank Pearly Monster. Okay, and now during the standby phase, because we have Sleepy Memory attached, both of these, during the stem of, during our opponent's standby phase, we're going to be able to draw two cards. That's exactly what we're going to do. And now, while we're drawing that second card, we're going to chain onto our Pearly Leap. And from there, we can get ourselves the X Pearly Noir. And because this is a whole different monster with different materials, we can once again draw. So you can see how we're going to be able to get four draws out of this, which is pretty strong. Obviously, you'd be able to extend from this with the other cards in your hand. But it's just a simple one and a half card combo that sets you, sets you up with an X Pearly Noir that is going to be able to target one card your opponent controls or in their grave and place it on the bottom of the deck. And you can use this effect by detaching two materials from this card. And you can use this effect multiple times as well, as there is no once per turn clause in any part of this card. And with this combo, it hasn't got quite gotten the protection because it doesn't have five or more materials, but you're going to see with the future combos that we're going to be able to achieve that. But otherwise, let's go to the next combo. All right, guys, so for the second combo, we're going to be using our Pearly Sleeping Memory, Pearly Happy Memory, and a card to discard. So first we're going to be activating ourselves a Pearly Sleepy Memory, discarding and getting ourselves out the Lily. Activate Lily's effect here in order to search ourselves the My Friendly Pearly. Activate its effect, and if you run three copies of the field spell, you can ensure that you do get Straight Pearly Street. Activate the effect of Straight Pearly Street. So the nice thing about this card is that your opponent cannot target Pearly Monsters you control with card effects to so turn their special summon. And just like we did before, we're going to get ourselves the Pearly Noir, activate the Happy Memory, and attach itself once again, get ourselves the Pearly Leap as well. Then during the end phase, we're going to use the Stray Pearly Streep in order to attach another copy of Sleepy Memory onto this card. Then during the standby phase, we're going to be able to draw the two cards as we did before, and use Pearly Leap to get ourselves the X Pearly Noir. Draw once again the, the other two cards. And here we end off with an X Pearly Noir that has, like once again, it's able to detach two materials in order to target one card your opponent controls and place it on the bottom of the deck, which is pretty cool as a two form of removal. And not only that, but we do have straight Pearly Straight here that makes that your opponent cannot target Pearly Monsters you control with card effects. So turn their special summon. It was summoned during our opponent's turn, so they can't be targeted. And then X Pearly Noir here, when it has five or more materials, it is unaffected by your opponent's activated effects. So just keep that in mind that right now it does have five materials, but eventually when you start detaching to use his effect, he's not going to have that protection. Otherwise, you do draw four cards, which is pretty crazy. And if you're able to establish a decent board beforehand, even outside of this combo, then that's going to ensure that you have a pretty strong board for your opponent. Now let's go to the final combo that I have for you guys. All right, guys, so the final combo that I have for you is kind of the ideal version of this combo as you're going to be able to max out your draws and just have the protection that you've seen with the previous combo. So here we're going to be doing accomplishing this by using Pearly Sleeping Memory, a card of discard, and the Stray Pearly Street. So we're going to activate Pearly Sleeping Memory here, get ourselves out the Pearly Lily. You can see that's the go-to play with the with these uh, combos here. And then we're going to activate my friend Pearly. Get ourselves a copy of Pearly, Mem uh, Pearly Sleeping Memory. So again, keep that in mind that this is in the instance that you do happen to get another copy of Sleeping Memory. We're going to once again activate the effect of Lily. Activate the effect of the Pearly Noir to get the trap and then chain the Pearly Sleeping Memory. And we're going to activate the straight Pearly Street and once again attach ourselves to Quick Play Spell. But you can see in this instance we actually do have two copies of Pearly Sleeping Memory. So now we can get ourselves the third copy. So now, now that we have three Pearly Sleeping Memories, you're going to see the crazy draws that we get out of this. As during the standby phase, we're going to get to draw three times. 
And then we're going to be able to use Pearly Leap. Get ourselves the X-Pearly Noir. And because X-Pearly Noir is a different uh, monster here, we are going to be able to draw another three cards. It's just crazy draws are you able to get out of this guy. And just like before, we do have that crazy protection in the form of being unaffected by your opponent's activator effects. Can't be targeted. And then, of course, we have some form of removal. And then just stacking your card with six cards. Stacking your hand with six cards means that you're going to... Hopefully draw into some hand traps to stop your opponent if you weren't able to establish anything beyond this board. But I hope you guys found these combos useful. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and consider becoming a member if you want to influence the type of content I make. Thank you for watching.